Hey, welcome back to more Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, specifically Adventures. This time we're gonna crack up a boy with the cold ones. Sure. Alright, I've been looking forward to this one. Finally gonna be in England. The big horse you in the sky ran away. <laughs> Angerland. From my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. Mm. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, there were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. However, none could have imagined the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this would end in such a horrendous manner. I could. My friend, <laughs> Mr. Herlock, I'm not sure you can. Once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude. The beginning of a long concerto that impressive Japanese student and I were to play together. Mm. Concerto is a fun word. Mm. Yes. Nice cloak. Amazing. Is is this really just Looks snappy. a railway station? Railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> and look at all the steam locomotives. This country is incredible. What is Unden King? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, soaps! Brian's Coco. Your favorite <laughs> steak horses. Like Shut up. So this is the capital <laughs> of Great Britain. So, Offices to be led. Uh, hello. Climb aboard. I'll take you wherever you want to go. What's with this persona ass mixing? Why are the characters so quiet compared to the music? Uh, I don't know. I suppose you're <clears throat> visiting students from abroad, eh? Yes. What gave them away? <laughs> Thought so. Well then, I hope you enjoy your stay. And welcome to the center of the world, Great Britain's mighty capital, London. All the American views are steaming. <laughs> well, it's 1900. <coughs> it's 1900, and the times are going to change. Okay. It's 190X. Mm, something like that. Sorry, Ben. You'll get a you'll get a role in a minute, but I'm voicing the the character coming up here. Okay. What an incredible place. It's so imposing. It's it's almost suffocating. This place is breathtaking. It looks like a fortress. There are some sto some stone buildings like this in Japan now, of course, but they've only been built in the few short decades since we opened our borders to the outside world. Thanks, Matthew Perry. An authentic example like this has quite a different impact, wouldn't you agree? A far cry from the wood and paper most of our buildings are constructed from. I'm sorry. Who is Matthew Perry? Matthew Pe Colonel Matthew uh, Perry was a uh, United States uh, Navy um, officer who was responsible for going to Japan and saying, um, open up your country now or we'll open it for you. Uh, and they were like, uh, okay. And they're like, we have guns, by the way. They're like, okay. <laughs> when Theron um, was like, could this country be any more closed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's certainly unfamiliar. <clears throat> I think there's more to the differences than just construction materials. <clears throat> what is this place again? This is the Lord Chief Justice's offices, Naruhoda-san, in the Supreme Court of Great Britain. Lord Chief Justice. We had instructions to report here at this time. If circumstances were different, we were supposed to let the Lord Chief Justice know that we had arrived from Japan. Kazuma can't. Hand. No. So 
So instead, we are here in a different capacity, as envoys to report the news of Kazuma-sama's death. Yes. And having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. So, we'd have to return to Japan? If we want to remain here in Great Britain... I had to take Kazuma's place as the law student selected for the study tour. Yes. Which means you need the requisite qualifications as a lawyer. Which is what I've been studying for. Here in Great Britain, it is the Lord Chief Justice who appoints lawyers. So that's the second reason why we're here, to have you officially recognised as a lawyer. It's the only way that we'll be able to remain here in London. I hope I'm up to scratch. Ah, uh, good morning. Sorry for keeping you. Oh. I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. <laughs> it seems I'm 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 47 seconds late. My apologies. This attorney has taught me to never trust someone with a pocket watch. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't mention it. But never happier than when we're standing around with nothing much to do. <laughs> How fortunate. So, introductions. I am Miles Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. Okay, I think it's supposed to be male. Nope. The pun is Maelstrom. Mile. Mile is a name, and it can be pronounced Milestrom as well. Oh, I've never heard of it like that. Ugh, I feel like a little mouse under an elephant's foot. Come on, Mr. Narhodo, don't be a mouse. Oh, um... It's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. I'm Ryunosuke Naruhodo from the Empire of Japan. In the Japanese version, this guy's name was Heart Vortex. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think this name works a little bit better. Um, yeah. Well, Mr. Naruhodo, welcome to London, the capital of our glorious British Empire. We are birds. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Thank you. We got birds. Bird up. Converse. So, what are your impressions of our capital so far? How do you like London? Oh, um, well, um, help. So ever since, I, ever since I got here, I can't remember a single thing about the city. Oh. It's simply splendid, isn't it, Mr. Nadahodo? Oh? We had a wonderful view of some of London's streets from the carriage on the way here from the station. Everything is so impressive and grand. I must say, I'm almost lost for words. I'm glad to hear you like it. The city boasts tramways, piped water and gas, even cables supplying electricity. We spearhead every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor to London is astounded. Oh yes, astounded is the word for saving me this is how the sun and everyone seems so jolly and full of vigor jolly is not the word i would <laughs> use to describe this guy yes there's much excitement about the upcoming great exhibition we'll be hosting here in london great exhibition <clears throat> cultural and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in our great city it will be the greatest spectacle of its kind in history and will make Paris' World Fair look like a toy shop. Gosh, I can hardly imagine how magnificent it's going to be. Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the centre of the modern world. Even if you do say so yourself. The sun will never set on our great empire. Oh, you don't Perhaps it is fate that in these progressive times, we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. Haha, <laughs> funny. <clears throat> um, Lord Chief Justice. I think you were expecting a student love for the study tour, weren't you? Absolutely. A Mr. Kazuma Asogi, if my memory serves. That's right. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard the steamship bound for our shores. It's amazing. The news reached them before we even arrived. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. Oh, thank you. You honored this appointment specifically to inform me of the news? 
Yes. Uh, we are here in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. They tell me you Japanese are a people of protocol and courtesy, and I see that it's true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you that the death of the young lawyer means this study tour arrangement can no longer proceed. If you would just hear us out, Lord Strongheart. What do you have to say, madame? It's about the study tour. Mr. Naruhodo here would like to make a proposal. Would he now? Well, Mr. Naruhodo? This is it, then. The moment of truth. <clears throat> you marry me? <laughs> proposal. <laughs> Thing is, Lord Justice, um, Lord Strongheart, I was wondering if perhaps you would consider allowing the study tour to go ahead. Don't misunderstand me. Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead. But without a lawyer from your country, there's nothing to be done. Well, in that case, what if there was someone else? Another lawyer from Japan, I mean. Is there something I don't know? Um... Only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain from your country. And that was Mr. Asogi. At least, that is what I've been led to understand. Well, um, the thing is, this really isn't going well at all. I just can't seem to find the right words to say to this man. Mr. Naruhodo! Katrin thinks he, um, if I'm not careful, what am I going to say? If there's someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer, it's... <laughs> it's there's no one! We gotta we got step up. Yeah. It's me. I can do it! Step up to... Is the that so? I, mean, I don't actually have any qualifications as such. No but... qualifications, you say? And yet you still claim to be a lawyer? I want a trial. I, I have acted as a lawyer in court before. Only once, as it happens. That cousin helped me and I was the accused. But glossing over the details. Been spending every spare mi moment of the on the journey here to Great Britain studying. I learned all about British law and court proceedings while I was on board the SS Buria. The voyage from Japan is some fifty days, I believe. Not what you might call a full education. To become a qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law, you must also complete several years of training. I realize it's far too short a period of time. I can't just go back to Japan. Azuma, Mr. Asagi's journey had only just begun. Me on the study tour was all he thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. You know, I must sound like I have an overly, uh, overly inflated opinion of myself. I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test, you, any test you care to set me. It's one chance. That's all I'm asking for. Please. Hmm. Thirty-one seconds. Sorry. Your opening statement there, Mr. Naruhodo. It was 31 seconds long. Not too brief, not too protracted. A perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that would stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Oh. Thanks. So, you're willing to put those words to trial, are you? Well, I'm all for entertainment. Huh? But let me ask you one thing first, sir. Yes? <clears throat> You say you intend to do everything Mr. Asugi planned to do. Are you firmly set on that path? Uh, yes. It's my intention. I see. Am I imagining things? Has he come down to me? <laughs> Did his expression just alter a fraction there all of a sudden? Very well. You have your wish, I'll give you a chance. A test! to become a specially certified lawyer. Whether you pass or fail is entirely down to you. Really? You get to decide? <laughs> God. So, oh, <clears throat> what form will the test take exactly? Tell me, Mr. Naruhodo, what do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Well, defending people, of course. Well said. So, let's have you defend someone. Huh? Your timing is perfect, in fact. There's an apt trial about to begin later today. 
No advocate has been appointed for the defense as yet, so this will be welcome news. T today Straight away? If you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you'll have passed my test. What could be simpler? Uh, how do I get myself into these situations? Well, could I ask, what sort of trial is it, Lord Strongheart? Hmm, yes, good question. Ah, uh, I remember. It's a murder trial. A murder? An extremely simple case, I understand. You really can't lose. It's easier to say. But I should mention, just in case, if the defendant is found guilty, he will of course be sentenced to capital punishment. Capital punishment? He'll, he'll be put to death? Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. Presumably you read that much in your short sea-based introduction to British law? We, we can't possibly agree to such a test. We'll be toying with a man's life! I am the Lord Chief Justice, and I have decided it's acceptable. But... you can't do that. Can you? There's no need to be overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. The defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court. If I lose, I'll be hanged. Mr. Naruhodo, you've come to me claiming to be a lawyer. If you want me to take you seriously, you need to prove you're willing to do a lawyer's job. And you say you intend to see through the will of your compatriot, Mr. Asogi. I would like to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. What's the matter? You've fallen silent. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer from you now. What's it to be? What do I say? I agree to this absurd test? Nah. Right then, I have to give you a decision now. Uh, I can't do it! Oh. I'm always gonna bring the note back, just wait a second. I can't get the words out! <clears throat> Fifteen seconds. Hmm. Your decision making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. That was too slow. <clears throat> I don't know if he actually timed the player in real time. <laughs> I don't think so. So, it's as I suspected, is it? Sorry. You have noble intentions, but lack the resolve to see them through. The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. Go and acquire your ticket for package passage back to the east tomorrow. This conversation is over. Yes, Lord Strongheart. Thank you for offering me a chance. Mr. Naruhodo. I'm sorry, Mr. Sato, but what could I do? It's alright, I understand. Do? It's not an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. But Resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it. What are you trying to say, madame? I think what Mr. Sato means that no matter how badly I'd like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain, I risk another man's life by treating his one and only chance at a trial so trivially. It'd be utterly unforgivable, and I feel exactly the same way. <clears throat> the defendant won't see this trial as a test, as some kind of experiment. Or may fight for his clients in court day after day. For each one of those clients, particular day they stand in the dock may be the only chance they have to fight to prove their innocence. No, I was wrong. I'm not qualified to do that job yet. I'm sorry for wasting your precious time, Lord Chief Justice. Wait, uh, Mr. Naruhodo. Oh. Oh. I was expecting a bad ending. Yeah, oh. I was expecting a non standard game over. Was there something else? It doesn't matter what option you pick before, he takes too long to decide either way. Oh, okay. Oh. Fine. Cool. It's approximately 20 minutes by carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. But, but I just said that. I was quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. What? At this point, he can't 
He can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. And if that happens, there's only one possible outcome. He will receive the most severe sentence the judge can pass down. That's awful. But that is the truth. Why does it have to be like this? Please don't expect an answer to every question. The cold, hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person now with a chance to save this man from a very miserable end. And that is you. I'm really his only hope? So, what do you say now, madame? Uh, me? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances, and I agree. But in my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. How many more times can they say resolve? Oh. Our time is up here. I have a meeting to attend. I must leave in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So, venture into our great city and enjoy yourselves. He's gone. Mm. Ill Bailey. Right. If we are going to do this, Mr. Narhoro, we must leave at once. Okay. We just don't. The old Bailey. No, I, I, that was the last line before we then, had to move how, how good is your Irish accent? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness, we're in time. There's still 15 minutes until the trial begins. I never knew a horse-drawn carriage could go so fast. I thought my teeth were going to rattle loose. <clears throat> Did you hear what I said to the driver when we climbed aboard? Get us to our destination in five minutes, driver, and there's a guinea in it for you. It's one of my favorite lines from the Herlock Sherm stories, and it worked quite perfectly. <laughs> Not sure why you're so pleased. I thought we were going to die. I don't get to pay gold for the privilege. Well, at least we arrived here before the trial started. Yes. <clears throat> I suppose there's that. <coughs> Fuck me. Anyway, I don't understand it. The court clerk said the defendant should be here, but there's no sign of him at all. The ghost. <laughs> this is the old Bailey. This room for defendants to wait in, in is a grand. It's grand. Are you alright, Mr. Nadahodo? I'm feeling tense, that's all. Please give me the same sense of foreboding that I remember for the Supreme Court in Japan. Oppressive air. Almost as if the building itself is going to crush whoever is about to be sentenced. I feel like only yesterday that I was. The one. Feels like only yesterday that I was the one about to be crushed. Yes, whoever the man you are to defend is, I imagine he's feeling very alone at this moment. <laughs> Alright. Put the board into you, madam. Sir. Oh. <clears throat> Who's this Willy Wonka looking motherfucker? Think these are, fa are fair desperate, are they? Sorry. Oh, just look at those expressionless faces. From the East, are you? Um, we're from Japan, yes. Ah, uh, Japan, is it? Right, no, say no more. So, how much do you need? <laughs> no, no, we're just here because... <clears throat> no need to explain, pa. I've been there myself, so, so I have. No place to go, nothing to eat. Barely a penny in your name, to your name, and all while in a strange, faraway land. It's kind of an overgrown <laughs> leprechaun. <laughs> well, actually, uh, we haven't found a place to stay yet, no. Oh. Uh, it's wrong. <laughs> it's grand, it's grand! <laughs> Let me start by giving you, giving you a thousand guineas. Say none now! <sighs> a thousand guineas? Please, Mr. Sato, you don't have to shout. But a thousand guineas is, is enough to build an entire mansion in the most prestigious area of Tokyo. What? <laughs> it's not to me at all. I'd like to ensure I have sufficient funds to, to weather a rainy day, you see. 
I have enough wealth to buy the city of London two or three times over. That much rain even fall in one day. <laughs> and even so, we couldn't possibly accept such a large sum of money. Oh. <laughs> the game is in 3D, though. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that would have worked out on 3DS. That hit me in the eye. Get me wrong, fella. I'm not giving it to you, no strings attached. Probably wanted you to do something for me. Oh? To be honest, it's a little embarrassing. The trials that's about to begin, you see, is for my good self here. I'll be on I'll be in the dock. So now what I want you to do along with me is stand there beside me. Officially you'd be my lawyer, but that's just a little detail now. <laughs> oh, well the thing is to worry about the thing. All you have to do is stand up up there next to me, nothing more. Otherwise, you see, the trial is going to start without having any kind of representation at all. They're dead, dead. <laughs> so it was true. Well, Chief Justice wasn't just making it all up. <clears throat> um, I'm terribly sorry to have to ask, but does that mean you're the defendant in this trial? Bloodstream blazes, do you? Do you not know who I am? Me? One of London's biggest names. No, sorry. We've only just started in the city, you see. Hmm, I see. I suppose, I suppose this is altogether impossible. Well, just next to Hyde Park there in the center of London is another beautiful park. Sorry, a park? What? Oh, McGilded... <laughs> yeah, McGilded Park. Full of blossoming flowers in the spring and singing birds and whatnot. I donated it to the city, so I did. A, an entire park in central London? <clears throat> A city of smiles. That's my vision for London. There's nothing Magnus McGilded wouldn't do for the city and its choir of people. That's amazing. I mean, really extraordinary. But now that now they've the gall to say I'm a good for none criminal, me, Magnus McGilded. What is the matter with the, with the London police? I ask you. <laughs> All right, don't pass out, Mister Narahodo. Perhaps now would be a good time to introduce ourselves while the gentleman catches his breath. Good idea. Um, Mr. McGill, the thing is, we're actually here in London to study British law. We're law students on a study tour from Japan, you see. <laughs> so, if you don't have a lawyer for the trial yet, you'd be happy to put yourself... In our hands. In our hands, and... <laughs> I have to, have to say you daft did you? I've given you a thousand gates to stand up there next to me, haven't I? Yes, but I wasn't really offering to just stand up there next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see what's going on here. Sorry. I know what you're thinking, what you're thinking. This ch this Chancellor fella claims to have more money than the Queen. But that's true, why the blazes can't he hire the finest lawyers in all of England? Because he did. That's the only explanation. Well. Oh. Well. Exactly. <laughs> hmm, what would Leonosuke think? I Well, that's not what we're trying to say, so... <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Although, it is a little strange, to be honest. Why don't you have a lawyer, I mean? Why you don't have a lawyer, I mean? It's for me a fault of the Reaper. Sorry, did he just say Reaper? Aye, the Grim Reaper of the Bailey, Lord Beric von Zix. Zix. He's the prosecutor. Oh, Zix. He's the guy he's, with the leg. He's the prosecutor. <laughs> the prosecutor yes. is the Grim Reaper? My little sister can't I... possibly be the Grim Reaper. 
My, <laughs> my <laughs> Grim Reaper Frosties can't for possibly be this cute. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when man sees stands for the prosecution, they call the, the accused his sacrificial lambs. And it was a stay. Oh. In every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned. What? <clears throat> so it's reached a desperate situation. Or there's no one will stand defense against the fellow at all. Do offer them your hat. You can say he's the living legend of the old Bailey. Goodness. Lord Barak Van Zeeks. He must be an exceptionally talented prosecutor then. But it isn't the word you're looking for, madam. Scary as shit. It's cursed. Curse? What on earth? The defendant is summoned and his counsel. Please make your way into the courtroom. The trial is about to begin. His counsel? That would be me. This time. Well then, sir, don't let me down. But. <clears throat> I don't know anything about the case. You haven't told me what happened. I'm sorry you showed your face here. I've made up my mind, I ha so I had. Sorry. I just defend myself, myself in there. How would that have worked? And then you made the appearance, I stood a law, wouldn't you know? Tis no accident, I can assure you of that. Tis fate. You should get cold feet now, please. I literally know nothing about the case, or about this man who stands accused. In fact, the only thing I do know... But I can't just turn my back on him. Heck yeah. Mr. Naruhodo. Man has no one. And has to stand alone in the courtroom, armed with nothing to defend himself. Yes, something that Kazuma would never have allowed to happen. Counsel for the defense, what are you doing? If you're late for the start of the trial, you'll lose your right to stand. Alright, I'll sit. <laughs> I'll be right there. Alright. <laughs> it's happening then. First trial in a British court. I hope you're watching over me, Kazuma. Because I have no idea how I'm, I'm going to manage this. <laughs> <laughs> 